Parliament is the supreme legislative power in New Zealand and is made up of two parts. The Sovereign, represented by the Governor-General, whose role is to open and dissolve Parliament at election time as well as sign off laws once Parliament has passed them. The second part is the House of Representatives, which is made up of about 120 MPs. Parliament has five primary functions. One, to represent the people of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Two, to provide a government. Three, to challenge and hold the government to account. Four, to make laws. And five, to approve how taxpayers' money is spent. The shape of Parliament is determined by an election, which happens usually every three years. Kiwis cast two votes, one for who they want to represent them locally, and the second for which party they want governing New Zealand. The party vote determines the number of seats each party gets in Parliament and the government is formed by the party, or parties, that together hold the majority of seats in the House. The Prime Minister then appoints MPs from the government party, or parties, to become ministers. They are given responsibility to oversee areas such as health, police, education and transport. The government's role is to run the country, propose policy and laws, and decide how taxpayers' money is spent. The opposition's role is to hold the government to account and provide an alternative government in waiting. They do this through asking questions of ministers, through debates in the House on major issues and legislation, and through the work of select committees. Overseeing the order and business of Parliament is the Speaker, who acts much like Parliament's chairperson. Party whips or musterers act as party managers, making sure MPs are where they need to be, and they cast votes for their party in the House. An important role of Parliament is passing new laws and improving or repealing old ones. For a bill to become law, it must go through a rigorous process. First, the bill is introduced to Parliament for its first reading debate. Then it has a cross-party select committee take a closer look. Select committees are small groups of MPs who work together to do the detailed work of the House. The committee also invites the public to have their say. The bill is then reported back to the House with any recommended changes and a second reading debate is held. If it survives its second reading vote, MPs will then debate the bill in detail in the committee of the whole House. This is the last chance to change the bill. The bill then goes for its third and final reading. If it passes, it's certified by the Clerk of the House and then sent to the Governor-General for royal assent before becoming New Zealand law. There are five agencies on the parliamentary precinct that contribute to the day-to-day -day running of New Zealand's Parliament. The first two, Parliamentary Service and Office of the Clerk, directly serve our Parliament. The Parliamentary Council Office drafts New Zealand's laws. The Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet provide advice and support across the public sector and Ministerial and Secretariat Services supports the Prime Minister and Executive Government. The Parliamentary Service provides administrative and support services to Members of Parliament and the House of Representatives. It also manages members' funding entitlements. The Office of the Clerk supports House and Select Committee proceedings, gives advice on parliamentary law and procedure and records, publishes and broadcasts the debate from this chamber. We also provide drafting support for members' legislation before it's introduced and for members' amendments to legislation. Along with the Parliamentary Service, the Office of the Clerk plays an important role in educating the public to encourage participation in our democracy. The Parliamentary Council Office is New Zealand's Law Drafting and Publishing Office. We draft government legislation and provide independent advice to ministers and departments on legislative matters. Together we aim to produce legislation that is fit for purpose, constitutionally sound and accessible to all users. The Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet advises, coordinates and leads across the public sector with a particular focus on good governance, good policy and national security. We provide advice and support to the Prime Minister, to the Governor-General and to Cabinet Ministers. Ministerial Services supports the Prime Minister and Executive Government with a range of services. These include staffing, administrative support, advice on their entitlements and VIP transport services. We also plan and coordinate national commemorative events such as Anzac Day and provide logistical support for official guests of the New Zealand Government. In summary, these are the five agencies that are on the parliamentary precinct and that support the running of New Zealand Parliament. Parliamentary Service, Office of the Clerk, the Parliamentary Council Office, Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet, 
and ministerial and secretariat services. If you have any further questions or need any other information, everything is available on the official New Zealand Parliament website.